Hi everybody, it's about 103 degrees out, it's about 15 minutes after 7, and I'm on a quilt walk. Our local librarian put together a little uh, factoid sheet every so often in our park, and so I'm going to share that with you. So this park is the former grounds of our cotton mill um, and the irony of that is I'm on a quilt walk at the cotton mill grounds. Um, this water used to be dammed up right here. We're coming up to the earthen dam and they use the water source for the cotton processing. I'm hoping there'll be a, a exhibit on my walk about that. There's the dam wall. That sounded horrible. <laughs> and then down there's a little bitty creek, but this floods and is all underwater when we get about six inches of rain. Okay, y'all, this is our earth <laughs> here in Texas and the size of the crack. And if you have small children this time of year, you just can't let them roam in the yard because cracks like that will form and uh, because our, our soil just totally dries up. We need rain. See the squirrel? He's laying there. He's so hot. He's just laying there. I hate squirrels. Another squirrel hanging out on the low branch. So we had a flood about four years ago and it actually took out this bridge and I don't know if you can tell how far down that is but I'd say that's a good 30 foot down. Anyway. You see the log jam there. It's amazing what the energy and power of just water can do. Look at how big that tree is. And it just made it land there under the old railroad track trussle.
Well, that squirrel looks like he's really chilled. He's not even laying on a big branch. He's laying on a small one. <laughs> so this is the south part of town, and you really can't see it, but the houses that are here were, were built during the cotton boom. And everybody, it was within walking distance. The cotton mill would have been about right here. There's the dam, the back side of the dam. Um, I think just past that big, big tree up there is where the cotton mill was. And those people would work. The people that owned the cotton mill owned all the houses. And you basically earned your wages to pay for your rent. Um, I know I just passed a house that's been tore down. Originally that house had a dirt floor. That's how they lived back in then. And it was a four room house and they raised six sons in it. Um, the amount of square footage that we all have today and the amount of luxuries that we have. I can't even imagine not having air conditioning in the summer down here, but it was their way of life. It was hard times, but they survived. It is still 100 degrees out. That took me about 30 minutes. I don't recall, I think that's 0.8 of a mile. Um, it's really hot. I'm glad I had my neck fan with me. I hope that y'all uh, enjoyed the walk. Um, I hope that you're gonna learn something from the quilt blocks that were on display and written about their history. I enjoyed it. I hope you will too. Thanks for watching.